Hello, everybody, and welcome to National Coming Out Day. Uh, my name is Dr. Gary Johnson, and I am the uh, Academic Senate President at Evergreen Valley College and also a member of the nursing faculty and a proud resident of San Jose, California. Uh, and I am um, with uh, the incredible Jackie Johnson today. She is our athletic director, and she is also a dear friend of mine. Uh, a former WNBA and a very also proud resident of San Jose. Have I got all that correct, Jackie? <laughs> I think so. So we're gonna talk a little bit about um, National Coming Out Day and, and um, maybe tell a little bit about your personal story because I think that um, it's a story that needs to be told. So um, how do you identify it, Jackie? I identify as I love love, right? So I love men, I love women. And, and so I guess that would be bi, or if there's a new term that I don't know about, I apologize, but that would be how I identify. So in the alphabet soup, the LGBTQ plus, 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 <laughs> you, you're, you're taking up the B letter, but you could be somewhere else. You could I be could be, plus, and plus, I don't plus. know, I, you're right. You're absolutely correct. Well, my experience has been with you that you're always the plus, plus, plus. <laughs> you are a ray of sunshine, no matter where you go. Um, when did you start to realize that you had um, a, a feelings and attractions for other women? Uh, I would say late in life, actually. So in my mid to late 20s, uh, did I actually say, oh, wait, like, she's beautiful or she's very attractive. Um, and did I, did I really start to think about and allow myself to, to, to go there? Yeah. Where were you at that time in your life? I was uh, I was in Turkey. I remember that very sure. I was in Istanbul, and that is where I had my first relationship with a woman or relations, whatever you want to call it, um, with a woman. And that's just, it started from there. Yeah. And you had previously had relationships with men as well. Absolutely. So all my life, I'd only had relationships with men. Mm -hmm. And there was always something missing for me. Like, you know, the sexual part was great, but it was something else. And I, and I didn't know, I wasn't uh, mature enough to understand or, or to, to, to know what it was that I needed or I wanted. Um, and, and is that like a, a mental, spiritual, emotional, like, what, can you put your, can you put a finger on what that? All is? of those things. It's all okay. of those things because, you know, I am, or I had been for so long, the, the black successful female athlete in my family. And so I kind of had this, I felt right. That I had to stay in, a, in being a certain way to make my family happy. Uh, and it, and it wasn't, it was putting myself, last maybe right like um and so switching that around is has been one of the greatest uh joys for me yeah. actually you uh so you mentioned uh the black community do you think it's more difficult for lgbtq people in, within the black community or or brown uh, communities absolutely i absolutely do um because we are more of a traditional right like any black and brown communities are, are highly traditional. And so um, my family in particular, right, didn't ever think about anyone being gay or LGBTQ, right, any of that. So when I came out, it was difficult. They all had reservations, every single one of them. Uh, my mother, father, grandmother, all of them, they knew that they loved me right? They, they never stopped doing that, but they always had, they, they continued to question. It took years um, before they actually came around and accepted that it's just love. Like, just because I love a woman as opposed to a man, it's still all the same, which is love. And, and so now, fortunately, they love my wife. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so you're, you're married. You got, you, you got yourself a beautiful wife. I've met her. I sure do. I do. Yes, I am. And I'm very, very fortunate and blessed because she gets me. Yeah. Um, did, you know, sometimes you've described a couple of things. In Istanbul, you kind of described that moment of realization that I'm a little bit different. That would be like that internalized coming out process that people talk about. And then the second part of coming out, because it is National Coming Out Day, is when you tell other people 
right? When you, uh, when, and some people just as associate coming out with that second part, when you mm -hmm. tell other people that you, you, you're uh, part of the rainbow. So um, first of all, do you remember um, telling other people and, and some of their reactions? Uh, you know, for me, thank God, it was the, the people that I told first were players, my teammates, right? And so they were, sure, no, great, great. Like, <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> exactly. So it was no problem. Um, the hardest part, it took me time to, to get the courage up to tell my family, just because yeah. I knew that they were going to have a bit of a difficult time with it. So thank God for my teammates. And, and they, they gave me a little bit more, you know, courage and push and you can do it. And it was, it was, I was very, very fortunate. Um, and I, I, I think a lot of, especially younger people are really afraid of negative reactions when they do come out from families. Did, did you have any of those? Um, I, I mean, as negative as my family can be, I'm, my family is amazing. Right. <laughs> so, uh, and, and their negative thing was, oh, my dad, I remember this. I, I remember this very clearly. He had a conversation with me and he was like, well, if I invited you to my house and I said that you couldn't bring your, my girlfriend that's at the time, would you come? And I was like, no, dad, I wouldn't come. Like, <laughs> wow. so, you know, it was just like him trying to wrap his brain around it. But my family never, ever was like, oh, don't come around Jackie or, you know, they were never like that. Um, yeah. So I, I thank God for the family that I've been blessed with. They're very, very amazing and supportive. Yeah. They sound very supportive. Um, yeah. And and I, I think, I, I, do you think that things have changed these days that more families are more supportive? Absolutely, I do. I think that, you know, with all the things that are happening, we were just watching um, whatever the spinoff is from Grey's Anatomy last night, I, something. And the opening scenes- Beige Anatomy whatever it was, something <laughs> about firefighters, or something, that right? That was a bad joke, so, Jackie. The opening scenes, <laughs> the opening, they started with three same-sex relationships, like they were in bed, right? Like that was the, that's how the, the show started. Oh, and I was like, wow, like, wow, like this is, they're showing that yes, right? They may be a man and a man and a woman and a woman in bed together, but they, they're normal people. They go to work every day. They have relationships with their coworkers that are the same. They they are normal. I mean, I think my family thought like all I was gonna do was gonna be all over this girl whenever I was around. I'm like, no, we're just two normal people. Like, <laughs> well, so, it's been described as the single greatest political act that any of us can do is to come out um, because oh. we educate all the people around us, right? And we Absolutely. we raise awareness. So. That's, uh, I wonder if, if you looking back on yourself as a young woman, you know, starting out in the WNBA, starting out your life uh, and knowing what you know now um, about your sexuality, would you say anything to her? Uh, I would say like, be true to yourself first and foremost, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think I not wasted a lot of time, but a lot of time that I could have been maybe partying a little harder. Yeah. <laughs> and no. so, yeah. you know, don't don't be so worried about making everyone else happy when really you only live one time. So yeah. the person that you need to make happy is yourself. Yeah. And to do you know, that as good as you can. Often when people say be true to yourself, they, they say um, and know yourself. And I, Absolutely. I think that that's a part of, of growing up and maturing. And when you have this extra layer, knowing yourself can sometimes be a complicated matter. And it, it sounds it like it was for you. It, yeah, I mean, you know, especially coming up at a time when it wasn't talked about like mm -hmm. it is now, mm -hmm. right? There wasn't as many programs that were to, to help, you know, where you can go to. And I was overseas. So really, right, uh, there wasn't anything to go to. So it's mm -hmm. been a journey. Mm -hmm. It still is a journey. Mm -hmm. um, and I love it when when some of my students come out and say, oh, hey, you know, I'm also gay. And I'm like, hey, I love that. So so what, what do you want to say to, we're going to, we're going to finish up here, but I, I, I really want to know, what do you say to the young people um, today that are coming out? What, what, what is the message you want to get to them? That you're never alone, right? You always have someone who you can talk to. You're never in this thing by yourself. Don't think that you are. There's resources all over the place. Mm -hmm. And look, I'm, I'm out and I'm proud. Like I have nothing to hide. 
So go and talk to, I mean, we're all there for each of you, each and every one of you Mm -hmm. uh, all the time. And so if you, if there's any doubt, ask, talk to someone because we don't, we, all that we want is the best for everyone. Yeah. Jackie, you are such a beautiful soul and we are so blessed to have you on campus and I'm so proud to call you my friend. Um, I just want to point out to the students at Evergreen that if they do need any other resources um, for um, the LGBTQ community, we do have the awesome Renaya Johnson on campus as well. She's uh, our uh, student in the student services area and she's associated with the um, student governance, um, but she's more than willing to um, uh, provide some resources to people who are LGBTQ. Um, so Jackie, I just want to thank you so much and um, hope you have a blessed day and happy National Coming Out Day. Happy National Coming Out Day. <laughs>